हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल लिव नेचुरली हियर आई एम सुभाषिनी खंडेलवाल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू स्केलेटल सिस्टम द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस व्हाट इज स्केलेटल सिस्टम स्केलेटल सिस्टम इज द इंटरनल फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द बॉडी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ होम यू नीड टू फर्स्ट बिल्ड पिलर्स दैट पिलर्स इन आवर बॉडी इज स्केलेटल सिस्टम सो टोटल we have 206 bones in adults but at the time of birth we have 270 bones this 270 bones get fused to form 206 bones in adults mainly we prefer adults for study purpose so we will prefer 206 bones in adults and we are going to study easy flow chart here skeletal system i will divide into two axial skeletal system and appendicular skeletal system axial skeletal system we have 80 bones total and in appendicular skeletal system we have 126 bones first if we talk about axial skeletal system we have six parts skull vertebral column hyoid bone ear ossicles sternum and the last one is ribs first of all we will talk about skull skull also we can divide it into two parts first cranial bones and the second one is facial bones cranial bones in skull we have 22 bones vertebral column we have 26 bones hyoid bone it is 1 ear ossicles it is 6 sternum it is 1 and ribs it is 24 in skull cranial bones we have 8 cranial bones 8 cranial bones that is o t p s e f you can remember this eight bones by the formula otp safe everyone knows otp is always safe so you can remember this by otp s e f safe o is occipital t is temporal p is parietal S is sphenoid. E is ethmoid. F is frontal. Occipital bone is here located. It is one. Temporal it is two. It is sideways located. Parietal we have like here. it is also two sphenoid is also one ethmoid one and frontal also one frontal this bone is frontal bone 
Ethmoid bone is located in center and sphenoid is also located in center. It is butterfly shaped bone, sphenoid bone. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 8 bones. Now second one is facial bones. We have total 14 facial bones. So let's count. Maxilla, Palatine, Nasal, Zygomatic, Concave, Lacrimal, Mandible, and the last one is Vomer. Okay, then count the number. Total 14 bones in facial. So maxilla it is 2, palatine 2, nasal 2, zygomatic 2, concave 2, lacrimal 2, mandible it is 1 and vomer also it is 1. Okay, then come to the vertebral column. If we talk about vertebral column, we have total 26 bones. Thoracic, Cervical, Lumbar, Sacral and the Coxygeal. Bone. Let's count. You can remember like this T7, T12, C7, L5, S it is 1, coxygeal it is also 1. So we have thoracic 12 bones. Cervical 7 bones, lumbar it is 5 bones, sacral it is 1 bone but it is, but it is the fusion of 5 bones. And coxygeal it is 1 bone but it is the fusion of 4 bones. So, 12 plus 7, 19, plus 5, 24, 25, 26. Total 26 we have. Then, hyoid bone. Hyoid bone, it is 1. It is located in the anterior midline of the neck between chin and the thyroid cartilage. Here somewhat. It is U-shaped bone. It is U. It is U shaped bone, and it uh, this hyoid bone supports our tongue. Then let's come to the ear ossicles. If we talk about ear ossicles, it is six in number. Malleus. Incus and Stapis. Two, two and two. Three bones in each ear. So two, two bones. Total six bones. Then sternum. Sternum it is one. And it is located 
here center it is flat bone which consists of three parts manubrium body and the xiphoid process okay then we have last one is ribs ribs we have 24 total first one is two ribs this is seven pairs then false ribs it is 8th 9th and 10th pair then floating ribs it is 11th and 12th pair if we talk about two ribs two ribs is the ribs which comes from the vertebral column and directly it attaches to the sternum and the false ribs are those ribs which comes from the vertebral column but it does not attach to the sternum it attaches to the two ribs and if we talk about floating ribs this also comes from the vertebral column but it does not attaches to the sternum neither it attaches to the true ribs it does not attach it just floats so now let's talk about the appendicular skeletal system in appendicular skeletal system we have limbs and the girdle limbs we have two types upper limb and lower limb girdle also we have two types pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle if we talk about upper limb we have 60 bones total and lower limb also we have 60 bones total in limbs we have 120 bones and in girdle we have total 6 bones pectoral girdle we have 4 bones and pelvic girdle we have 2 bones first upper limb upper limb is consist of first humerus humerus is this upper arm bone humerus it is one radius ulna is lower arm bone here this also one this also one then we have carpals the area where you wear your watch this area consist eight carpal bones then metacarpal we have five five finger we have in front of here five bones five metacarpal bones 
Then last one is phalanges. Phalanges we have total total fourteen bones. In each finger we have three bones. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And in thumb we have two. One, two. Twelve plus two it is fourteen. So total we have fourteen plus five nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two. And eight, thirty bone. Total thirty bone. But we want sixty bone. So this was for the one hand, and we have two hands. So multiply by two. Total sixty bones. Then lower limb. Lower limb also we have femur. It is one. It is thigh bone. And femur, it it is the largest bone of our body. Then tibia. It is one. Fibula. One. Then tarsus. It is seven. Don't confuse with carpal and tarsus. Here it is eight, and here it is seven. Tarsus seven. Then metatarsus five. Then the last one is phalanges. It is fourteen. Total we have. One, two, three, plus seven, ten, fifteen, plus ten, twenty-five, plus four, twenty-nine. But we want sixty bones. So one left is patella bone. That is also known as knee bone. The fact about knee bone, it is the largest joint in our body. Knee joint is the largest joint in our body. So one is patella, patella bone one. Total thirty bones. So this all bones for the one leg. Leg total for two leg we have sixty bones. So we have completed our criteria sixty bones. If we talk about girdle, we have pectoral girdle and the pelvic girdle. pectoral girdle is also known as shoulder girdle and pelvic girdle it is also known as hip girdle in the pectoral girdle we have scapula bone and the clavicle bone Two scapula, two clavicle. Scapula is present here, back side, and clavicle it is present here. So we have two to each total four bones. Clavicle bone is also known as the beauty bone, or it is also known as the collar bone. If we talk about pelvic girdle or hip girdle. we have two coxal bones two coxal bones but coxal bone is also the fusion of three bones that is ilium ischium and pubis This, it is a fusion of three bones: ilium, ischium, and pubis. So, for today, this was the class of skeletal system. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.